What's up, my pilots? Angry Bunch of Humor back playing Pajama Sam. This will be the last video of Pajama Sam. I, uh. Oh man, I had a, a, a real trouble getting this particular in thing to occur. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the other version of the mask. I, we already did the one where it's on the singing carrot. Uh, and the other place it can be is in this room over here. Man, let me tell you, I had a heck of a time getting this to happen. So basically, when you start the game, it's supposed to randomly determine for each item which of the two locations it could it'll be it'll be in. And so I figure, okay, well, there's only like eight ways that that can pan out. So if I just keep trying a few times, eventually I'll get one where the mask is in this room rather than on the carrot. Nope. I literally tried probably 25, 30 times, starting a new game, getting to this point, going to that room, nope, no mask. I did it over and over and over again for like an hour. I couldn't get it to happen. I eventually had to go online and do a bunch of research and found out that there's a debug mode for this game where you can, uh, it's actually through the game itself and through ScumVM. But this, this was actually built into the game, so I'll show this off, it's pretty cool. If you're playing this game in ScumVM, which is what I'm doing, uh, if you have the original disc, all you have to do is copy the files onto your computer, and then you can open it up with ScumVM by pointing to the directory where it is. But anyway, if you hit Control D, you can bring up a command prompt here, and if you do Room 61, it takes you to the Paths room, and it lets you choose where you want the items to be. So for the flashlight, it can either be in the mines, or it can be in the dock, the, the boathouse. The lunchbox is either underneath the water in the cave, or it's going to be by the well. And then the, the mask is either on the carrot or underneath the couch. So you can pick whatever path you want to play, which I think was, I, was so, so immensely helpful. So now let's go get the mask off from under the couch. Dancing furniture. That looks just like my pajama Sam. Go pick it up, Sam. Go pick it up. Aww. Whoa. What happened? Darn, it's really stuck under there. Hmm. Excuse me, but that's my pajama Sam mask you're standing on. I love how quiet it is in this room now. The rest of the game, there's ambient music everywhere. But in this room, after they turn the music off, it's... <laughs> Sam, what are you... Is he gone yet? Ow! Shh! <laughs> in this room, after they turn the music off, there's no music at all. Could you please move? You're on my Pajama Sam mask! Darn, it's really stuck under there. Hmm... Maybe... Maybe I should turn on the music again. <laughs> well, I guess that's not gonna work. <laughs> he rubs his hand like, ow! I know you can move! Before you saw me, you were jumping all over the place! Nonsense! We're inanimate objects! Aha! Whoops! <laughs> For a second there, the lamp is like, Dude! Hush! Shut up! <laughs> Come on, please just get off my pajama Sam mask! Nobody here but us pieces of furniture! Go away! <laughs> and there it is! <laughs> Nobody here but us pieces of furniture! Okay, I don't see him anymore. Start the music! So what you, do, what you have to do to get the mask uh, from this situation? This is one of those dumb Gotta send the dumbwaiter down. Going down. First and foremost. Well, first you have to get into Darkness' house, to... which doesn't take that long, well, really. You'd have to just run up to it. It's accessible right from the very beginning once you do the thing with the rocks. It's actually harder to get into the mines because you have to de-rust King, and it's hard to get over to the water because you have to convince Otto that he can float. But for Darkness' house, you can just run right up and go in it. I don't know where they intended you to go first, but... Anyway, let's go upstairs and play the Brain Tickler! Welcome back to the Brain Tickler, ladies and gentlemen! As you'll recall from before the commercial break, our... Yeah, our I already started it off because I, I wanted to know what question they were going to ask about the Land of Darkness. I'll take it's the, the water right. meter one. Here is and it was 507 this time. 507! That's absolutely right! You've done your homework. Wow! wow. Alright, what else we got? Let me try cosmology. Alright, here is your question. 
Yeah, uh, very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. Yes, that's quite true. <laughs> totally right. Great job, Sam. Two down, two to go. I'll take plants, please. All right, here is your question. What does the word dandelion mean? Hmm. What does the word dandelion yes, mean? You. I'm pretty sure it's not past the mustard. I'm gonna go with a uh, a uh, a uh, pretty weed. I really pretty have no idea, weed. actually. Pretty weed. Yes, I suppose it is a pretty weed. But the answer we were looking for is lion's tooth. Really? But don't worry, there are plenty of questions left. So does that make sense? Because dandy. I guess it's kind of like denta, like teeth, but I wouldn't have guessed that. I'll take plants, please. All right, here is your question. This plant has a soft, white, fluffy substance used in making fabrics. <laughs> it's a polyester bush. Cotton plant. <laughs> yes, you are correct. You're really on a roll now. So there's one really funny category you can get up here, at least I consider it really funny. It's called computer science. And the question that comes up is, what's the best programming language? <laughs> and it has a few uh, languages as options. And then it has, who cares, or something like that. And if you pick who, you can pick any of them, and they're all, the, the doors are like, yeah, it's totally fine. If you pick who cares, they're like, yeah, any time not now. us. <laughs> I'll take anatomy, please. All right, here is your question. What part of the body is used for hearing? Well, right now it's headphones, but I'm gonna go with the ears. The ears. Good answer, good answer. Survey says? The ears. That's correct. Number one answer, number one answer. You correctly answered questions from all four categories. That makes you the new Brain Tickler Grand Champion. Thank you. All I wanted to do is go to the doors, jeez. I don't even need to do anything in here besides to go down to the basement. Hey, Grandpapa. How's it going, Pepe? I, I, this, this would be the perfect opportunity for me to talk to him about how there's been a bunch of other kids coming through here. <laughs> it's like, uh. We defeated darkness six times and we've become exceedingly efficient at it. The Book of Clues. When seeking answers, use your head. You must push in only red. I really like that, that angle it gives you him reading the book. It's just cool. Whoops. I think I, I saw, saw something, something on the other, other side, side of the door. door. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. He almost falls on the stairs, and it's not I even a big think deal. I saw something on the other side of the door. Well, here we are, burning. <laughs> Thanks. Have I mentioned that I really love this job? I'd say at least a hundred thousand times, yes. Okay, these candles clearly have spent way too much time around each other. So we can go into the magic potions room. Oh, I, oh, I couldn't remember what the, what the... Wow, this is like a secret mad scientist lab or something. It all makes sense now. I knew that this chair was important, but I could never remember why. Okay, so let's go to the potion stand. So here... You have all these different potions. If you mix the three of them together, it does something like weather control. So it says mixing yellow, green, and red makes a rain cloud for your head. Nice. Oh no! A little prequel to the next game, I think. <laughs> Disguise. You can impersonate the queen. Power of the voice. There's all kinds of silly stuff in here. This is what we want. Invisibility. If you wish to hide from view, mix up purple, green, and blue. Purple, green, and the blue's missing! Wherever could it be? Lo and behold, there it is on top of the shelf. I wish I were taller! Holy crap! Look at Pajama Sam's vertical leap! His head, I mean, just top the, even the top of his hair, is, is like below this shelf. And yet, he jumps like that high! He seriously jumps about as, he seriously jumps about as high as he as he is tall. That's ridiculous. Like that's LeBron James jumping skills. Can't catch me. Woohoo! Watch out. Yeah, excuse me, chair. 
Could Look you go? Me go. You want to go over to the uh, bookshelf here? Watch out! Thank you. I could use your help to get that blue stuff. Well, I'll do what I can. Just don't move. Oh, jeez. You okay, kid? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Your legs are broken. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. You know how they are. Not really. Trust me. <laughs> the chair has just accepted his fate. <laughs> forgot that even happened and that chair is just totally fine with it it's like ah you know how they are <laughs> I'll just lay here for a while <laughs> it's cracking me up man can we do something about this how does your leg feel oh it feels fine it's just a little inconvenient is all you know it doesn't look so bad really I bet I could fix it if I had the right tools probably a hammer and a nail would do it that'd be great well then, I guess we have to go find a hammer and a nail. <laughs> the chair's just like, this is my life now. I'm just on, on the floor. I wonder what this button does. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's cracking me up, man. <laughs> hey, look at that, would ya? Hey, look at that, would ya? <laughs> I swear I'm totally sober. This is just cracking me up, man. Hey, King. Howdy, Sam. Hi, King. I'm gonna hop in there, buddy. I need you to help me out. Oh, actually, hmm. You know what? We got more work to do in the house first. See you later, King. <laughs> Hi, King. Bye, King. What you can do is... This must be one of those dumb waiters. Dumb waiter. It's like a little elevator for food. I bet I could ride this one right back up to the kitchen. Let's do it. Don't worry. I won't be in here long. <laughs> a little safety message for the kids. Going up. Uh. Oops. I keep looking on Sam's head when I'm trying to go for that door. Okay, so now we're back up here. I'm just gonna... I just... Yep, yep, yep. Run back around to the other side of the door here, where the magnet is. Hey, a magnet! Nice. We're gonna need that. It's not this just for the sure lunchbox. Come in handy. There are two items in this game that I can think of that have more than one use. One of them is the oil can, which you use to de-rust uh, King's wheels, as well as the hinges on the boat dock door. The second is the magnet, which is used for getting the lunchbox out from underneath the water. It's also good for something else. Howdy, Sam! Hi, King! Which way do I want to go here? I don't remember. Let me get this way. Yes, yeah, this way. If you look off the right side of the minecart, you'll see a lovely pool of lava. These are called the darkness mines. And uh, if you look real closely, you can see a nail. Hey, a nail! I can't reach that nail! Hmm. We'll have to use the power of magnets! He. <laughs> okay. Fucking magnets, how do they work? Alright, I've got the nail! Pretty slick! Thanks! It's a huge nail, by the way. Kind of dangerous. I'm fine with it. Let's scoot on back out to the front side of the world, shall we? Yep, you can go through that area either way, and somehow sell enough momentum to get to the top. Although, King gets some kind of slowing down at the end there. Let's head outside. I'm gonna ride on over to the hammer location, which I think we've shown before. But we'll show it again. Oh. Let's go sailing. Can we go over here to the boat dock? Whatever this thing is, the boathouse. I don't know. I already... Oh no, I didn't. The door is stuck! I think the hinges are rusty. I came by here for the oil can in order to go and look at the, the water meter in the mines, but I didn't actually... These hinges look kind of rusty. I better oil them. And in we go. That did the trick. I don't understand why the boathouse is so crooked. And it's never occurred to me before, actually, I think to wonder. Wow, a hammer! You know... Works great! Looking back, I think I picked up the hammer when I didn't need it in a previous video. When I got the pencil. You don't need the hammer for that. Pretty sure. Yeah, you don't need the... You know, you, all you need is the pencil, and then the whole rest of the construction crew comes by and does the whole thing for you. 
You don't ever need to use the hammer for that. And that's for getting the flashlight when it's in the mines. You have to do the little cart with the rope and all that. Uh, I think I came out and got the hammer then. I didn't actually end up needing it. I didn't realize... I'd forgotten this is what the hammer was for. It never occurred to me. It's neat. It's good that even though I played this game so much as a kid, there's still parts in it that surprise me. And it would make sense for this, this to be the one thing that I don't remember, because... Basically... I uh, played this game a lot, but I... I, st I don't feel like I ever got this particular really random combination. Truth, because uh, I had such trouble getting it to happen randomly, it might be that it's just unlikely that this certain scenario happens. Like, it's just very low odds that you get the, the random draw where the mask is under the couch, that you have to go through all this stuff to do. Which is actually kind of surprising how much you have to do to get the mask off from the couch. I mean, if Sam had brought along some prevental... some... <laughs> parental supervision, we would have that couch moved by now, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Alright. Let's help out our friend the chair. Can I grab both of these? I'm just gonna... Let's just beat him with a hammer. Hey, buddy. Careful, Sam. This won't hurt a bit. No worries. <laughs> Chair's just like, I don't care. Seems like that would hurt a lot. Hey, you did a good job here. It feels better than before. Stronger. I can dance again. Boy, I feel great. Thanks a lot. It was the least I could do. <laughs> After almost crippling you for eternity. Let me try getting the blue stuff again. Ready when you are, partner. Ah, oh, there we go. Got it. We did it. All right, chuck one up for teamwork. The chair's leaning back like, get that shit out of my face. All right, let's do it. Oh, but first, we need to prepare our things. We need the dumbwaiter to be here. Let's run back up to the kitchen real quick. Ah, there's a lot of rooms in this house. Ah. Send him Going back down. down. Da ding I don't, You don't actually have to use him to go up and get behind the door. I've done it both times because it's faster. All you really have to do is just go out the back of the house through the mines. I think you look. And then, uh, I'm seeing their dialogue. I'm sorry. It's just, it's habit. I have a hand on the escape key and it's hard to not push it sometimes. All you really have to do is go out the back of the house and then just come back in through the front. Uh, the dumbwaiter is just a shorter way to do that. Kind of a little shortcut there. A little, a little short, save, it saves time, really. Here we are, burning. Now we can go in here, because this invisibility potion doesn't last very long. If you try and run back up to the, uh, the room where the furniture is, we're going we're gonna to sneak by, by the way, to get the mask. Uh, it'll run out before you get there. And all Sam says is, oh, this doesn't last very long. So I'm not going to show that, I'm just going to go ahead and do it the right way. Purple. Whoops. Oh no. I guess I need to follow the instructions closer. <laughs> I didn't realize I had the other two still in there. Purple. Green. And... Wow! I'm invisible! Alright. I bet I could fit in there. Let's do it! Somehow this the... must go back up to the kitchen. Somehow the dumbwaiter sees him, but okay. Hello. Dumbwaiter just does what the button says, I guess. Alright. Out we go. Let's see if we can sneak by the dancing furniture and get our mask back. Invisible Pajama Sam. Don't touch me, buddy. Careful! Alright, I got it! Just get your high it out of there so he's not found out. I don't know how many room transitions you get before you become clear or uh, visible again. Oops! I can see me. Very impressive trick! No wonder he's the Grand Champion! <laughs> And there it is. There you have it. I need the mask so I can turn into Pajama Sam and capture darkness. Oh, Sam. The pajamas were well, on you all, the all along. <laughs> You've always been Pajama Sam. You just didn't know it. It was inside you. Alright, that's, oh, that's, that's enough. This is a long video. Thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play of Pajama Sam. I was cracking up in this one. This game just is so great. If you didn't catch my not-so-subtle hints throughout this, this series, I intend to do more uh, games by Humongous Entertainment, the company that make these games. 
I want to do at least one from each of the major franchises. So that means there's going to be at least three more of these games. So be looking forward to that. I'm probably going to do another one right away. Because uh, they're, they're just killing me right now. I love it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next game.